Hey guys, this is Marie and I'm back on another video. And this video is going to be Hermit Crab and Beta Fish new setup. So let's get started. So in this video, I will be showing you and talking a little bit about where all my tanks are in the apartment. So here we go. So I wanted to give you guys a little short story of everything before we go into detail of where all of my tanks are. Now, as you guys can see right now in the video, I have a metal stand and it has five shelves on it. So there's one, there's two, there's three, four, and all the way up to the top is five. So this is what the metal stand looks like. Now we picked this up at Walmart and um, my original plan was whenever we decide to move, I wanted to get a metal stand to put all of my tanks on so I can get rid of all the other stands that I have that are usually the single stands that just put one tank on and then I had one that you could put two tanks on. So I wanted to originally get all those and get rid of them and don't have them anymore and then have all my tanks on one stand. That was my plan. The only stand I ended up keeping was my Hermit Crab metal stand for the 20 gallon long tank. I kept that just to be safe and I spent a lot more money on that one than I did the other stands. So I kept that one, but all the other ones I wanted to get rid of. So the first day when I moved the Hermit Crab tank, I put them on the bottom. That was my plan. The next shelf would be my 10 gallon tank. And I had brought over Bubbles, my goldfish, and put his tank on here and set him up and everything. Got the water in. And when I bent over and looked at the shelf, I noticed that it was bending. And to the point where it was bending so bad, I thought the next day I would come over here and my tank and fish would be dead and my tank would be on the floor. So I was like, nope, I cannot do it. I'm afraid that if I keep it there long enough, the shelving unit would definitely give out and it would break and be everything would be on the floor. And I did not want that to happen. So my plan was to go ahead and take it off and bring one of the other um, stands that we had at my mom's house over here to put them on there. So my next plan was to go ahead and just put the two five gallon tanks on each shelf. So I have one five gallon tank right here. And then as you guys can see, the third uh, shelf is the other five gallon tank. And then the last two shelves don't have nothing on there. Um, so that is how the sh tank setup is on here for right now. Now, when I set up both five gallon tanks, I noticed that the shelving part, metal part, is bending just a little bit. Not as bad as the um, 10 gallon tanks. As you guys can see right there, it's kind of hard to tell. But yes, those are bending just a little bit, but it's not as bad as the 10 gallon tanks. Now, when I bought um, the metal stand, we looked at the box and it said on the box that it can weigh up to 350 pounds each for each shelf. So this shelf should be hold up to 350 pounds. This one holds up to 350 pounds. All five shelves should hold up to 350 pounds each. That wasn't the case. So I recommend you guys, if you buy a shelving unit for um, Walmart, don't put fish tanks on there. I would recommend only thing to put on there would probably be like a hermit crab tank, a reptile tank, anything that does not consumed to have water in it would be okay because my hermit crab tank is just fine the shelving part and the middle part is not bending there's nothing wrong with it because there's no water in it but if you put your um fish tanks on this metal stand it's going to bend now later on in the future we're thinking to try getting a piece of wood that would be as long as this way and as long as this way and putting that on there and then trying to put the 10 gallon tank on there to see if it would help support it a little bit more better. But that's gonna be later on in the future. I'm not gonna do it right now. But right now it's okay to have this five gallon tank 
and this five gallon tank. So then I just have these two shelves up here, basically just for looks and supporting the metal stand a little bit more better. So that is what this currently setup is going to be right now. And everything is doing fine. The hermit crabs and the beta fish are doing wonderful. I just did a 50% uh, water change on Neptune's tank and also Galaxy's tank. And they're doing absolutely wonderful. Um, when I transferred the hermit crab tank over here, of course, um, I had to take everything out, including the sand. And as I was cleaning out the sand and getting it out, and the hermit crabs out, one of my hermit crabs did molt, and that was my Ecuadorian hermit crab that was in the painted shell named Minnie. She was actually molting, but she completely much finished. She was already molting. I saw her skeleton stuff, her skin and everything. It was already on the side, and she had already completed it. She just had to take the time to get herself more harden and get more better before she was able to move so what i did was um i actually took her out and put her in to a container with a lid on it with air holes on it and put some sand in there and took her a skeleton stuff put it inside with her and left her alone and then when i got here to the apartment and set everything up i put her inside of the tank with the container and just left her alone and um, if you go on my Instagram, you would actually see a little video of her eating her exoskeleton. And um, she's doing wonderful now. She's actually out of the cup and moving around. And she's completely finished. So I'm very thankful for that. And that was actually her first molt ever with me. So I'm very happy that her first molt was awesome. So I'm very happy for her. Now we can just get her to get out of that painted shell. We'll even be doing even better. But all the hermit crabs are doing wonderful. There's actually one right there walking around. And this is what their tank setup looks like currently. So nothing too fancy. Just the same way I always put it. But they're doing absolutely wonderful. Um, Galaxy is doing wonderful. I changed his tank just a little bit and put... This um, plant in here, this was actually originally in uh, Bubbles' tank, but I changed it and put it in his tank, and it makes the tank look so much better. And then Neptune's tank is pretty much the same. Now, you're wondering where the other two 10-gallon tanks are, and so since I couldn't put them on this stand, they are all the way over here. So here is the other stand. That It's a black stand that has two shelves on it. And originally, I didn't want to bring this over here. I wanted to get rid of it. But since um, I had no choice to bring it over here and put these guys on there. So that is where the 10-gallon tanks are right now. So we got Bubbles Tank on the top. And he's absolutely wonderful. And I put, um, his, uh, I put this new plant that I got. Um, I think I got this at PestMart. And so I put this plant in there instead, instead of that short one. So he has a nice tall plant. And he still has his cave that he absolutely loves and hides and stuff like that. So he can still do that. And then Mo is actually on the bottom. And his tank is pretty much the same. There's nothing really different about his. Um, he's just doing wonderful. And all of them are absolutely healthy and no problems. Um, they did not get stressed out at all from moving from one house to another. So they're absolutely doing wonderful right now. So this is currently where this tank um, setup is right here in the middle. So I thought this was a good spot for them. And it's not too much in the way. And you can still, you know, walk through right here in the little walkway. So we still got plenty of space to move around and stuff like that. And it's a nice little setup, so... That is currently where the tanks are right here. So now um, I didn't give you guys when I did updates on the beta fish tanks and all the beta fish. I did not update you guys on two of them. You're probably wondering where my other two beta fish are. Uh, Jupiter is my um, half moon king male and he ended up passing away 
uh, last month, well, not last month, November, no, it was December, sorry, he did pass away in December, um, I gave him a full tank change and put him inside of the tank and he started acting kind of funny. I think he was out of his tank for so long to the point where I think he got stressed out and he couldn't take it no more and he ended up passing away the next day. Um, my other betta fish back in November passed away and that was Blue, my butterfly male betta fish. He ended up passing away. Um, he got very sick really fast. Um, his fins were getting worse um, and then he started getting one of his eyes were getting puffy like it was the uh, what is it called Popeye or something I think it is called um, he started getting that and then he started hanging down on the bottom of the tank didn't want to swim he would eat fine but other than that he did not want to do anything and he started getting worse really quick to the point where within three days he ended up passing away so I lost two of them within two months so now I just have three beta fish and one goldfish and then the hermit crabs. And that's probably what it's going to be for, for a very long time. Um, I don't think I'm going to be getting any more beta fish or goldfish or anything like that anytime soon. It'll probably be a very while before that happens. But I just wanted to give you guys a little update about them because I never said it to you guys inside of my, all my other videos. So, But that's what's going on with them. And the tank... Um, that my butterfly male blue was in was actually this tank until I got galaxy so but that's currently where all of my beta fish and hermit crabs are right now and it's a pretty good setup um, I like it I like how I have the middle stand right here because it's like I said it's like a um, it's like a divider for the living room and the kitchen and the dining room so it's pretty cool where you can see on one side when you're sitting in the living room and then if you turn around and go into the dining room you can actually see them on this side even though you see the filter and the heater um, and all the wiring you can still see them from the back way this way too so it's pretty cool I can still see them swimming around in the back like I before I couldn't see them so now I can so it's pretty cool now because I can actually see the hermit crabs. Oh, there's Minnie right there. This is the um, hermit crab, the Ecuadorian hermit crab that molted for me. She's in her painted shell. And there she is. And as you guys can see, she's absolutely doing wonderful. And I'm very happy for her. Looks like she's going to go hide. I don't know if she's going to get through it or not, but she probably will. But that's what she looks like, and she's actually doing wonderful, and she did a great job molting, and I'm very happy for her to do that. So, but that's pretty cool right here. You can see the hermit crabs actually on both sides, and it doesn't look as bad as it does. So I'm very happy about that. Let's get a close-up of Minnie. So there's Minnie. Alright guys, well, this is going to be the end of... The video i hope you guys enjoyed it please give this video a big thumbs up comment down below and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more until next time i will see you guys in the next video bye